Park fans, State Park fans, my name is Mickey. I'm coming to you from Van Dam State Beach, which is a part of and connects to Van Dam SMCA, which is a state marine conservation area. Before we get going, can everyone hear me? Is the video quality okay? Thumbs up or heart clicking the button or give me a comment letting me know that you can hear me. I hope everyone is having an amazing Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, everyone. It's the 50th Earth Day celebration. And I know you guys, if you guys are interested or staying at home today, um, we want to connect with our parks because we love our parks. Um, we wanted to bring them to you virtually. And another great thing happening on California State Parks or Ports page on Facebook, they have a series of live events happening today. If you want to tune in, and have a laugh or just be a little entertained from home you can check that out and like you just saw if you were checking out and tuning in for the live stream with Steve and Hindi Woods he was talking about carbon sequestration and how the forest sequesters and is a large carbon sink in the world and helps our, our environment and all the ecosystems and did you know that the ocean is an even larger, the largest carbon sequestration, the largest carbon sink in the world. Thank you guys for joining. My name is Mickey. If you're just joining in, we're doing climate action change um, and what you can do to be aware of your role and your part in this and how you can help the climate. Um, we were just talking about how the ocean is the largest carbon sink in the world and how the, the very base of the food chain the phytoplankton, the algae, the flora, forums, and the copolithophores on the surface of the water, and that photosynthetic bacteria absorbs. Um, hi, David. Absorbs the carbon. David, this is Van Dam State Beach. If you guys are just tuning in, I'm hanging out here to bring the parks to you virtually on this beautiful Earth Day. It was a little sunnier earlier, but now it's a little overcast. Um, I want to talk to you guys about climate change and climate action and what we can do to be a part of a brighter future. And because our oceans are such a great help and make our oceans and this nature resilient towards climate change and the amount of um, CO2 will be put in our and put in the air, the ocean absorbs that CO2 and is the large car largest carbon sink in the world. It absorbs it and produces oxygen for us to breathe. And due to the overabundance of carbon in our atmosphere, the ocean is starting to reach that limit where it can't absorb anymore. And then that limit is causing the ocean to keep absorbing but becoming more acidic. And so our pollution, our greenhouse gases, and this climate change um, that is happening and polluting our air is also hurting our oceans and causing the ocean to become more acidic which is making it harder for marine life to survive, making it harder for um, shelled creatures and these forums and coccolithophores to even produce because they need these, the carbon to produce shells. But too much carbon makes it hard for them to produce shells. And them at the base level of the food chain affects the rest of the life and everything and every organism and animal in our ocean. So that affects not only the fish, our coral, it's making it harder for coral to produce, which helps support 500,000 species in our ocean. And if we lose that, we lose all of those species. It goes, it affects even the whales and the um, whale sharks. So this is so important for us to understand because our actions today will make it hard for the ocean to survive for tomorrow if we don't do something to change our carbon em emissions. And due to what everything else that we do in our life that causes pollution, trash, um, farm waste that rolls down through the rivers and into our ocean, this can also cause harmful algae blooms. And these harmful algae blooms create like a lid or a blanket on top of the water of foam or like slimy algae. And these harmful algae blooms put a lid on the ocean in certain parts when they become abundant in, um, in one area. And so because of this, it causes less oxygen in the water, harder for marine life to survive underneath. And sometimes species aren't able to inhabit that area anymore, causing dead zones in our ocean. And so these harmful algae blooms 
are a product of our waste, our pollution, and um, of rising ocean temperatures. Because these little gametes are activated and germinated due to this nitrogen that is overabundant in our ocean from the runoffs and the pollution from humans. And then the increase in water temperature creates them to be able to proliferate and become larger and larger and spread and grow. And then they consolidate and become one pack that causes these harmful algae blooms, putting a lid-like um, structure on top of the area of the ocean. And so all these reasons is why we need to come together to help our kelp, our kelp forest, which produces and traps carbon from our air and produces oxygen for us to breathe, is why we need to take our part and do things differently in our life to help the ocean become more resilient to climate change. And hopefully we can come to a point where we become carbon neutral or carbon positive and climate positive, where we do not produce as much oxygen CO2 as the ocean can intake and these carbon sinks can intake. So you learn that the forest is a huge carbon sink and helps our environment and our world. The ocean is the largest carbon sink and it's trapping that carbon and it gets trapped in dead organic material and goes to the bottom of the ocean. But sometimes because of upwelling and different conditions, it can resurface and then create this more acidic water and harder for marine life to survive. So I want to challenge you guys to become the speakers, your voice, for your community, your friends, your neighbors, to lead by example and to help our ocean and help our life become more resilient here and to help the kelp because our kelp forest in the last two decades has disappeared and we no longer have a beautiful lush kelp forest along the surface of the water anymore. And so that supports so much life and we're losing so much life because that kelp is no longer here. And with your guys' help, everyone doing their part every day in different actions like bringing your reusable bag, bringing reusable cups, trying to use objects or um, materials that are reusable and not just single use. And maybe taking your bike to the store, consolidating trips or carpooling with a friend are all great ways that you can make an impact today and voting with your dollar. When you support different brands and companies, know what they support and how they're produced and are they good for the environment. So there's so many options and if you guys have more ideas of things you can do, you can type them into the comments of just other ways you can make a positive impact for tomorrow and help this kelp forest ecosystem, which in turn helps the forest and how marine life like the salmon travel through this marine ecosystem up into the forest to bring nitrogen and nutrients up into the forest. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in, um, coming up with an example, doing your part to create a brighter future for tomorrow, and being aware of all the climate action that you can do to make an impact that is positive and to help claim, change our future and help change this climate change and make it more inhabitable for our marine life. So if you guys have any questions or want to know more information, just message us. We'll be happy to respond. And we can't wait to have you here in our parks again so that you can come and help us and we can do beach cleanups together. That was one of my ideas for this um, Earth Day event, but unfortunately due to the stay-at-home measures that we're all taking to stay safe and healthy and happy, um, I can only come to you virtually. So I hope you enjoyed this live stream and enjoyed the scenery of our beautiful parks. Yes, we can't. I love Van Dam. This is a beautiful place. Let me give you a quick little tour of what we have here. It's really glassy and nice on the inside, protected from the wind. And let's go back. Let me get out of the way. Over here. This video will be posted on our Facebook page. Feel free to comment, share, like, uh, ask us questions, or if you have any other ideas of ways you can be involved and help our climate change for the better in the future.
find more natural solutions, more carbon sequestering ideas. They're doing artificial carbon sequestering around the world now to help with the amount of carbon that we have in our atmosphere, more renewable energy, changing light fixtures to more eco-friendly um, LED lights, or when you're purchasing a new appliance, make it an eco-friendly one. Uh, more direct air capture with these artificial sequestration of carbon. And more informed policy. Find out what your legislation is doing, your local government is doing to make climate change and a positive climate, climate action. And so by doing your part and being a part of this change, we can be resilient and we can come out of this and become carbon neutral and climate positive. So again, my name is Nikki. I'm here at Van Dam State Beach. Can't wait to share and be here with all of you and do a beach cleanup soon. Thank you for checking us out. If you want to um, be a part of more events at two o'clock from McCarricker State Beach, Kat is uh, going to be talking to you about the effects of climate change and how it affects the marine life there. And so if you guys want to check that out, she's going to talk a little bit about sea level rise. That is a huge part of climate change too. And just like or share and comment if you guys have any other suggestions of ways that you can be involved or what activities you guys are doing today. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful Earth Day.